Okay, so in today's video, I am going to be crocheting a patchwork cardigan. So the idea behind this is that I need to go to the University of Oxford because my brother is doing a speech there. And for some reason, whenever I think about the city of Oxford, it just gives off cardigan vibes. It's like the place you go where you just wear cardigans. I don't know how to explain it, but that's just my thought process behind this project. So obviously I put myself up to the challenge and decided to make a cardigan myself. So this cardigan consists of 37 squares and this took 5 days to crochet and when I finished making all of the pieces I was so relieved and I was so excited that I actually started sewing the pieces up the same day and I remember I finished it at 7.40, 20 minutes to 8 and then I started just sewing all the pieces together and I stayed up for a very very long time and um, I was going to make my cardigan out of all all the squares using this pattern until I realized how long it actually took me it took me about an hour just to make this pattern and I thought it was really pretty so I was like okay let me make a cardigan using this whole pattern until I came to my senses it would have taken me so long to make all 37 pieces and I'm very slow at crocheting as well so that wouldn't have helped so I began sewing all of the pieces together this was actually a very fun process and I just watched TV while I was doing this and true crime documentaries whilst I was doing it just to pass time so it was a very relaxing process. So after I finished sewing everything together I began doing the ribbing details on the cuffs just so it's a nice clean finish and a tighter fit. After that I did all the ribbing across the bottom of the cardigan and this took about two days because of how long the bottom of the cardigan is and how tedious this crocheting method was. It, w it was taking so 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 long. <laughs> And I actually really like making new projects because I learned so many different techniques and different stitches whilst I crochet different things. And for this one specifically, it was how to make a granny square. This is the first time I've ever crocheted a granny square. And the second thing that I learned is this ribbing stitch as well, which gave such a nice clean finish on the bottom. And also later on, I learned how to crochet buttonholes. So after I did that, I need to crochet all the way along the neckline to make it nice and clean and also so I can add the buttonholes. At this stage, I wasn't even sure if I wanted buttons, but as I'm recording this, I did end up putting buttons on. This is probably the quickest I've ever crocheted before because I just wanted it done. I believe this was the night before I actually wanted to wear the cardigan, so I was really crocheting a lot. And yeah, it did pay off in the end because this only took me like an hour to crochet the whole opening, which isn't really that long considering how long everything else took. So it was a fun process. And I finally decided on the placement of the buttons and it's near the bottom of the cardigan like kind of halfway up so I think this is the perfect position for the buttonholes so after I did that I went over it all over again with another round of single crochets just to make it a little bit thicker okay I'm gonna show you the placement of the buttons so here is one of them and here is the other I made the buttonholes on the last square of the cardigan on the left side I think so yeah they're evenly spaced around as well and the buttonholes are not too big. So I'm going to do another round of single crochets or maybe another two rounds of single crochets just to make the opening a lot bigger. So the next day before we had to leave I cut off all of the loose ends from the granny squares and this was a very very fun process I actually really enjoyed doing this you know I can't wait to make another cardigan because I just love this whole process it's very fun and then lastly I just uh, sewed up the cuffs and then I was finished I put the buttons in and then that is the completed cardigan it was so fun to make even though it was a bit rushed but yeah my family my family loved it and I love it too and I can't wait to make another one